We are ready now to listen to the words of the Holy Gospel, the good news of Jesus for us. Please stand and join me in the Gospel acclamation. Son of God, 
both God and man as well. You might say that a certain spiritual uh, cataract fell off their eyes and they could see more clearly. I mentioned cataract because this week I had a cataract taken off my own eye, my right eye, and uh, nothing major, of course, but it's physically speaking, we do that because then we can see better and we are focused better and the clouds in a sense of the haziness kind of disappears. And I, I think in, in the spiritual world also we have, uh, we don't maybe always see so clearly, and, but this particular event caused them to see extremely clearly of who Jesus really was. And there's a few lessons in it for all of us, of course. It was meant to be an encouragement to the disciples for the hard, difficult days ahead. They wouldn't give up. They realized who they were following, Jesus Christ, of course. Uh, and he also encourages us to see beneath the exterior of peoples. Do not judge by superficiality and might be always how they look, but see that divine kernel, that divine spark that is in all people. We are children of God. And we do believe that we are temples of the Holy Spirit, so beneath that kind of rough surface, maybe, there can be a very wonderful person. See the goodness of all people, and also the goodness uh, in ourselves. Because we are more than material beings, we are spiritual as well, with an eternal soul. So let that eternal light kind of shine through in the deeds that we perform in life. And reflect upon God's words, which came on the mountaintop to the disciples, and he said, uh, this is my beloved son, listen to him. And that's good advice for us. Listen to him and God who will well please in us, all of us as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're pleased now to welcome Kyle Gorensky, who's been assigned to us from the uh, vocation office for our diocese. Kyle is studying uh, to be a priest at St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore. Kyle, please come forward. The, uh, perfect um, the diocese asked me to come talk to you about vocations, and they are, what a vocation is, is just uh, the calling that you have, and it can be to anything. You could be called to be a school teacher, a doctor, a police officer, um, virtually anything, but they, they want me to focus on religious vocations. And um, it could be, you could be called to be a priest, uh, a sister, a brother, a bishop, a deacon, sing in the choir, um, to volunteer work with the church, a priestic minister, all, all different ways you can serve the church. And uh, it's important to know none of those are more important or significant than the other. They're all just us using our abilities that God gave us to serve the church. Um, so I'll just briefly talk about my vocation story. Um, I thought about being a priest, uh, originally I was, I was like 14, so 13, 14, I was junior high age, and I wanted to do that throughout high school. And by the time I was getting ready to graduate, I learned the amount of schooling I'd have to do. And since I wasn't really into school at that time, I decided to do something else where I could help people. So I went to the military. I, uh, I served two tours in Iraq and one in Afghanistan. And then I wanted to go into a different field, so I became a state trooper in the state of Rhode Island and did that for a while. But through all this time, uh, even though I was very happy with my, my job, I liked to go to work. Here almost every day. Um, it was, there was always something like missing, it just didn't feel right. And it was the thought of being a priest was always there, kind of in the back of my mind, nagging at me. So I finally decided to, uh, to enter seminary. I'm very happy with that choice. And I would encourage if, if you or anyone you know is, has thoughts or feelings like that, to encourage them to pray, to be open to it. They can talk to uh, their pastors or uh, parish directors, or you can go on the, uh, the diocese website and uh, there's a vocations link for, I believe it's for priests and for religious life. I believe they have a link there too. So, thank you. Thank you. 